All right, we're running the beaver. I got the Bionic Beaver running here, the XFCE. This is Zubuntu. I uh, went ahead and installed it. I just wanted to see, you know, I did a video about this distro here a while back. Really under underrated distro. Can't beat this XFCE. It's a Ubuntu base. It's configured really nice. Look at the control panel. you got almost everything configured in there. And it just works really good. And it looks good. You, uh, you know, just a couple of little things you got to configure here and there. I put the adapted theme on it. I put the Piper's icons on there. Everything installs so really smooth. I, this is what I love about Ubuntu. And I, I sit there and I started thinking, could you just imagine if Ubuntu that has such a great base, if they would get their head out of there, you know what, instead of using Unity and GNOME and all these environments that nobody really likes, use an environment that people want xfce you know even mate i mean could you imagine they would be probably be at number one on distro watch i know i would use them if ubuntu came out with a distro if they said you know what we're not going to use gnome we're going to go ahead and use xfce I would download it and I would install it and use it. But for now, I'll use Zubuntu. It's the Ubuntu base. And this one, I downloaded the daily build of the Bionic Beaver 1804. And it seems like it's running pretty good. Got it all installed right here. Got my little time and date there. There's a little uh, Pulse Audio plug-in, battery. Got the Bluetooth. Got all my software installed. And everything went really smooth. That's what I like about Ubuntu. When you install something, it's just really smooth. Put Chrome on there. Uh, VirtualBox went with like a breeze. No questions, no this, that, and headers, and I need this, and it don't run. As soon as I install it, it's ready to go. And then it came with a couple of games there. And let's see, I've made my custom wallpaper. And I put this custom icon for the whisker menu uh, icon. So I was just going through it. Uh, mess with all the settings in here. And it's pretty nice. It's not bad at all. And it all seems to work really good. No problems. And there's the uh, beaver. There's the bionic beaver. <laughs> That's pretty funny. There's the bionic beaver. So let's have a look at the backgrounds that this one came with. Let's see, where was the backgrounds at? I thought it was in that folder. Or is it then the user share XFCE for backdrops? Yeah, that's where it's at. So if this is how it boots up. These are all the wallpapers that come with it. Pretty nice. Of course, it's the XFCE wallpapers there. Pretty nice selection not bad and then it's got these and I think it booted with this one let's see which one one of these I think they're the same there's another nice one so I put my custom background let's see how do I get back to my custom background I guess I have to go to my picture and select my custom one there so I was just uh, downloading things and to make a uh, custom wallpaper so uh, the reason I installed this I was watching and I apologize if I mess up his last name uh, Stephen Parrish I was watching some of his videos he was using the uh, cubic to make a build and 
I was originally watching his videos because he was uh, trying, he was uh, making a MX-17 build and getting the comp his, using the comp his reloaded. And he, he did it with a breeze. I'll put a link to his videos. You got to watch his videos. It seems like he did it really easy. So I went ahead and tried it on um, MX-17 and I don't know, I, I was just having nothing but problems. I couldn't get the... Uh, comp is reloaded to work right. I couldn't get anything to work right. Watched his videos again and again. But I saw that he had a Zubuntu build. Uh, built it with the... What was that thing called? The cube, Cubic Builder. And he shows how to do all that. So I'll put a link to his videos. It looks like he's um, posting more videos than he was... Uh, in the beginning so maybe he'll continue and so that's why I, I downloaded I, I just I thought you know Zubuntu looks pretty good he, he he put the adaptive theme on it and everything and he was customizing it, you know fixing it up there and I thought you know what I, I'm going to download the 1804 Bionic or what's it called yeah Bionic Beaver and just install it and see how it has you know because I haven't installed a Ubuntu base and uh, I don't know how long now been on Manjaro jumping back and forth through these other ones you know and just uh, haven't been on a Ubuntu base and I have to say you've been missing it. It, it they are really a smooth environment the Ubuntu base you just can't beat it it's a smooth environment and it's really quick click on it it goes I don't see what the problem, you know, a lot of people want to, oh, go to this, go to that, you know, go to Arch, and it kind of got me doing that, you know, from the comments, and people say, oh, this is better, this is better, but every time I come back to a Ubuntu base, man, it's just so much smoother, it's just unreal, everything that installs, it's smoother, don't ask me a bunch of questions, the, the whole system runs smoother, <laughs> everything acts smoother, and I don't know. To me, it's just smoother. And I, I could just kind of sit there and think, man, if if Ubuntu, the core Ubuntu, instead of using GNOME, would have used XFCE, man, that would have been that would have been the distro. But right now, they're pretty much just a base for everyone else to use. That's what Ubuntu is. They're pretty much just a base that everyone can use. Because their distro with that GNOME, just like Unity, you got very little people. A very, very small amount of people using it. I mean, there's probably a very small amount of people using GNOME altogether. So, if you're having a GNOME environment, I don't know. Maybe there's more. But there ain't no way to really tell. But it just seemed like to me, uh, XFCE... If they would have made an XFCE distro, that would have been awesome. But there's always Ubuntu, and they did an excellent job. They got all the settings in the control center. There's your printer settings. The only thing that they're missing out of the control center is the sound. I don't know why they didn't put the sound, uh, what is it, the pulse audio sound thing in there. If they would have put that in there, and maybe a couple of other little things, they got the panel switcher in there theme configuration and of course the notifications and they got the neat new notifications of course on this 18.04 software and updater light dm greeter user and group startup applications so this build was pretty clean when i uh, installed it it you know it was pretty clean canvas it came with these little games here uh didn't have gimp just had resetto image viewer and simple scan it had Firefox and just transmission and multimedia. It just had the Parole, Media Player, Pulse Audio, and XF Burn. And then, of course, under Internet, it also had Hex Chat, Thunderbird, and, and I think that was it. And then, of course, all your system settings. And let's see, I did add the Synapse Package Manager and VirtualBox. So let's see what we're using right now. I've been doing a lot of things with it, so it's up to 2.2 gigabyte now. Of course, I'm recording now. 
and seems like it's running pretty smooth 20 25 percent processor usage you know running a recorder so not bad and that's uh 2.2 gig running it all day and uh downloading stuff uh running virtual machines you know been chugging it along here all day so uh not bad on memory there so uh, I'm going to run this for a couple of days and see how it goes. Uh, I'm already, you know, it's, it's still in a daily build. It's not even out yet. It's not going to be out. And I mean, it's not going to be released until April. What was that? The 22nd or something, which is like, uh, what is that? Uh, five months away. So I still have a way to go. But you can download the daily builds on all these Ubuntu builds. You uh, Ubuntu, uh, the made, whatever. All you have to do is type in your browser, uh, Mate or XFCE or uh, Cinnamon, and just put daily, you know, and you'll find them. Uh, I'll put the link to this one if you want to download the 18.04 uh, daily build of Zubuntu Bionic Beaver. Uh, it's not bad. It all works real good. And there's the software center. I was going through this and it's not bad it's, it's pretty responsive and once it gets going there you got your installed you got your audio and video click on it, it goes and let's look at one of them real quick there's k3b there's Cadent live and you click on it and it installs it and there it talks about it a little bit you got comments so not bad pretty neat so pretty cool uh daily build bionic bionic beaver and there's virtualbox installed really quick didn't ask me all kind of questions after i booted up you know i don't have this driver installed and all this nonsense you know like arch does and like manjaro does and like uh other distros do that are not ubuntu base <laughs> but other than that um this one's not bad at all it all works really good and there's the little terminal. I did put the uh, screen fetch. So there it is using kernel. Where is it at? 413. And there's the adaptive theme. What does it say? Ubuntu 18.04 Bionic. So pretty cool. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. Just check in out the Zubuntu 18.04 Bionic Beaver. And I got it installed. I'm going to be running this for a couple days. And probably, I don't know, we'll see uh, how it goes. You know how it goes. So uh, I'll put uh, all the uh, stuff I talked about uh, in this video in the link below. And you can check that out. But pretty cool. Not bad at all. All right, I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. All right, I'm out.